and now let's talk about apply and compare various inventory cost methods so let's talk about that so inventory is the first asset for which manager can decide which accounting system or method is used the accounting method selected affects the profit to be reported and the amount of tax to be paid and the values of inventory turnover and the gross period per, you know gross margin percentage ratios it are also help to find out financial statements health or health of the company is determined through the financial statement of analysis and that is a complete new you know another subject to talk about that how we can measure the health of the company that company is good and company is not you know its future is not oblique you know so how we can find out we we can utilize some different measures find you know mathematical measures ratio measures to find out that company is doing fine excellent good or average or bad so let's talk about that is what goes into inventory costs so the cost of an any asset such as inventory is the sum of all cost incurred to bring the asset to its intended use less any discount we just learned in our previous you know side that purchase price any freight in and insurance if you you know you paid while the goods are in transit any taxes you paid and less any kind of return it any means uh, inventory returns any allowances and discounts so we call that anything that you spend to you know bring that inventory to your store or in the premises of the factory we call that uh, we call that we call that that it should be added to the purchase price of the product or inventory so now finding out the inventory costing methods so to compute of goods sold and the cost of ending inventory still on hand uh, we must assign a unit cost to the items and how we can find out that unit cost so that unit cost came from four inventory methods one is called specific unit method method one is called average one is called first in first out we call this fifo and the fourth one is called last in first out which we call that lifo right last in first out fifo first in first out so company you you know can use any of these methods and these methods can have very different effects on profit income taxes and cash flow we'll talk about in coming slides how the inventory cost system going to affect profit income taxes and cash flow so let's talk about number first that is specific unit so some businesses they deal in unique inventory items such as automobiles you know antique furniture jewels and real estate right they are unique items so these business cost their inventory at a specific cost of the particular unit if range rover cost higher than the normal you know automobile then the you multiply the num you know if you have three range rover what is the price of one so you multiply the price of one with range rover price right you cannot multiply it with with you know mercedes benz or volvo right so you have a specific unit price you just multiply that it's easy so these business costs their inventory is at a specific cost of a particular unit so for instance i just gave you the example and let's talk about an, another example a toyota dealer may have two vehicles in stores so a stripped down model that cost dealer nineteen thousand dollar and a loaded model that cost a dealer thirty thousand right so if the dealer sells the loaded model the cost of goods sold is 19000 no way the cost of 
the loaded model is 30,000 right so it will multiply the number of unit with 30,000 right so you already know the price of specific goods so more normally this system is used for when you are selling unique inventory items you know diamonds gold items you know right so it can be used for that the number second is average so average cost method sometimes also called weighted average method so is based on average cost of inventory during the period and how we can calculate it's very simple so let's talk about the exhibit 6.6 .6. there is an illustration so in exhibit 6.6 .6, the family a dollar began the period with 10 lamps that cost each uh, you know lamp ten dollar so the beginning balance of the inventory of the family dollar company it is 10 lamps 10 each simple so what is the beginning balance 10 multiplied by 10 which is 100 so during the period the family dollar brought, uh, bought 50 lamps and sold 40 and ended with the period and ended the period with 20 lamps so here is it is the challenge here the data is already given they bought 50 25 they bought at 14 25 next 25 they bought at 18 right now if everything was like the cost price is the same then it's fairly simple you can say that 20 units multiply by this same amount if was still per unit was 10 here it is 10 here it is 10 then you can also write it down here as 10 but the question is the question is that whether you buy the quantity now or later it is at the same price of course not there is a term called inflation right the prices at the time passes it starts rising right so you can also look at the trend here prices are increasing so and you have 20 units left you sold 40 right so the question arises what should be the cost of these these 20 units and what should be the cost of these unit that we sold 40 years you know lamps are sold right and what is the cost of those 40 when you see that this is not 40 mean 25 so if we just say that okay we have how many 25 25 we have 60 inventory and we sold 40 should we should we say that its cost is 10 of course not why because only 10 units cost 10 dollar should we say that all you know multiply this with 14 we already know that only 25 units we bought at 14 not 40 right so the average accounting system it just make the average or weighted average here it is what is the weighted average you find out how many units we add the units we add all the units at 60 you add all the costs or here these are these cost 900 you divide 900 with 60 and you find it per unit price right? here it is and the per unit price here 900 divided by 60 on 3 is 15 so this 20 would be multiplied by 
15 and this multiplied by 15 as well right so it's fairly simple so we can say that our 20 units that we sold they cost us 600 20 units that are left in our in hand in our record that are costing us 300 even though you can see that number two inventory is purchased at 15 number one inventory is purchased at 14 number so you know the opening balance was 10 so we just take an average that's it simple that is it. entry is the same but the amount that will be credited or, or debited that is different in each accounting method so that's why i'm talking about the profit also depends on the method we choose for inventory systems in in it sorry in, in in previous slides we talk about uh, or if you saw that it affect profit why because income statement is start with sales and then cost of goods sold right and cost of goods sold came from here and if the cost of goods sold is higher then gross profit will be lower right if cost of goods sold is lower right then gross profit will be higher so that's why we talk about that the profit also depend on the, the method we choose for recording the inventory so this is the t account of the inventory at average cost see the balance is 300 the expense is 600